Hello, I'm Mike Robinson from the Potkiln Pub and Restaurant in rural Berkshire. Here at the Potkiln we specialise in cooking wild food, seasonal food and beautifully provenance food. And nothing is as well provenance as the king of cheeses, Parmigiano Reggiano. This PDO product guarantees you quality of origin, it's handmade by artisan craftsmen over the centuries and it's just every chef's favourite cheese to use. I'm going to make this into a wonderful cheese and melted onion tart, but it's not just about the food, it's also about what we drink with it. Hi, yes, I'm Master Sommelier Gareth Devani, and today I'm going to be looking at the Burgundy region to find a fantastic wine to go with Mike's dish. Burgundy, one of the most historic and important wine regions in the world and uh, has a place at every table. So right. we, uh... Well, I think we should get in the kitchen and make a start. Yeah, let's do it. For this recipe, I'm going to cook a really gorgeous onion and parmigiano reggiano cheese tart. Very, very easy, and it's all about the good ingredients. So I've got my butter melting. I'm now going to add the onions and garlic straight in there. For a good 10 or 15 minutes, well, we also now have to do something about pastry. Short crust pastry that we've made. Wrap it in cling film, put it in the fridge, let it rest for an hour or so, and then it gets rolled out and it gets blind baked and then this is what we get, these little tart cases here. What about our filling? Well, here we have the onions. Now, into those I'm going to put some fresh thyme. Put my onions into a mixing bowl, and it needs a bit of seasoning, so mix. Well, I've got three egg yolks here. I'm going to add double cream, and this is Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. When you go into the supermarket, make sure that you look for the real thing, because it's got the dots and the stamping. That's how you know it's the real thing. So handfuls of it here, straight into this mixture. Gently mix this up. Salt, pepper, pour it in, fill these. Ready to go in the oven. Our lovely Parmigiano Reggiano cheese tarts have now come out of the oven. They're all hot and gooey and gorgeous and we've got to pop them onto the plate with the lovely watercress and get them out for Garrett. So we'll pop it on the plate. I'm just going to pile that onto my plate here. More of this 24 month old Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. It's not all about the food, however. We've got to go outside now and see what Garrett's got ready for us in the wine department. Great. Uh, today I was looking to Burgundy, um, home of some of the world's most historic and great vineyards. And for this particular dish, I think I'm going to look for a white wine from the Macon area. And I want to look for something which is crisp and got minerality and freshness and really cut through the rich cheese tart. If you're going to go out yourself and try and choose a wine for a dinner party using this dish, I would definitely recommend to go to your independent retailer and ask for an AOC wine, AOC being the quality level that you need to have to guarantee what the wine is going to be like. Burgundy is, you know, historically one of the most important wine regions in the world, uh, from the north, from Chablis right down to the south in Macon, famous Côte de Nuit and Côte de Bonne in between, and they also make very good red wines with Pinot Noir. So I better go off and get this wine open now. Here we are, Garrett. Great. This is our... Parmesan and melted onion tart, really well aged, gives a wonderful nutty flavour with this, um, the melted onions and the crumbly pastry. So what do you think is going to go well with this? Beautiful. Well, I had a look in the cellar and I thought maybe go for a white burgundy. So I was looking for something with nice ripe fruit, stone mm -hmm. fruit and some minerality as well to cut through that richness of the tart. So uh, it's an AOC wine as well, so from the top quality level, so it should be uh, great. Better pour you a glass. Let's have a look. And this is what we're after, you see, the, 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 this Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, it melts in beautifully. Mm, that is stunning. Well, I think as an AOC you'd expect from Burgundy, it's got that nice creamy texture and it's got you know lots of flavour, and I think just really picks up on the, the sort of the, the strength of the Parmigiano Reggiano because it's got a it's got a lovely flavour and texture to it. That's a lovely recipe. If you've got any queries about how it's made or any tips on food and wine matching, then visit discovertheorigin.co.uk.